Now, in Birmingham City Schools, mental health services for students are increasing this year. Several schools now have behavioral health professionals actually on campus. ABC 3340's Muriel Bailey joins us with more on this crisis in the classroom. Muriel, how necessary is it for students to have this available to them? Well, Stephen, experts I spoke with tell me there is an overwhelming need for mental health support for students. Birmingham City Schools is partnering with Alabama Regional Medical Services to offer the support to seven schools total. At Green Acres Middle School, students now have an extra outlet if they need someone to turn to. Kids need someone to talk to about life experiences. Middle school is a challenging time for all, and so this program will be a great outlet for my students. Hey, how are you going? Principal Taria Walters believes having an on-site social worker will make a difference. She's noticed the pandemic had a huge impact on students' mental well-being. Students uh, had a, have a huge learning gap. They don't know how to communicate um, because of the pandemic, and they're just missing out on that one-on-one -on -one interaction with their peers, mainly. Our dollars are hoes. Alabama Regional Medical Services will place a licensed social worker at the seven selected schools. Each one of our counselors will have two schools apiece that they will spend uh, 20 hours per school each week on site. A session starts with a referral from a parent, teacher, or anyone at the school. I want to be a safe place for them while they're at school, that they can be comfortable. Alexandra Scott is the social worker at Green Acres. She'll start with an assessment, talking with the student one-on-one. -on -one. Getting um, just background information about their life, um, biologically, socially, emotionally, what has really led up to this current situation. From there, she'll work on resolutions and goals. It's great to just have an uh, an advocate here at the school that can work with them while they're here in this environment that they're typically in. Walters believes that this will create a ripple effect. Okay. Sometimes kids are struggling with academics because they don't know how to communicate with effectively communicate. And so arms will be that bridge for us to allow us to effectively communicate with those coping skills and that'll make them perform a little bit better in the classroom. Now, the schools will also have telehealth equipment, so if a social worker is at another site, he or she can still talk with a student who may need help. If there's something in the classroom you'd like to see covered, email me at muriel at abc3340.com. Stephen.